Hello everyone, this is Bill Apter down here in the video editing room of Apter's Alley just a few hours before WWE Fastlane. And as you saw on my social media yesterday, I posted on both Twitter and Facebook that uh, my old dear friend, uh, Wally Yamaguchi, uh, had died. He had been in ill health for several years. His brother is the... Uh, one of the broadcasters on uh, WWE pay-per-view event thing, Shinsuke Yamaguchi. And I want to send out condolences to uh, Shinsuke and uh, uh, we call him Shun, Shun Yamaguchi, uh, and all the Yamaguchi family. But the, the reason I'm doing this special is because uh, although Wally was in the wrestling business, he was a character in WWE back when it was WWF, uh, He's managed, he's wrestled, but the Wally that I knew back in the days when I was working in the magazines regularly, people used to say Wally is the Japanese actor, or they'd call the Japanese, or I would say I'm the uh, uh, the American Yamaguchi. We had this like the same job. We were like the liaisons from the magazines to the boys and the girls there. Um, we also... Uh, did the interviews. We were also both on TV a lot at the same time. So it was a uh, it was a terrific time and we traveled. When he came to the United States we traveled uh, in Atlanta and so many uh, in New York etc. We had so many good times. We'd go to uh, karaoke bars. Uh, we'd go to the matches together. We'd go out to dinner with friends and uh, when I went to Japan for a few times, this jacket that I'm wearing right now, the uh, Hard Rock Cafe in Japan, Wally took me to, uh, to dinner uh, at the Hard Rock there one night, and uh, I got this beautiful jacket. Great memory of being with him. But we, let me hit this up here. So we, we always, we were both, and I still am, as you know, uh, passionate karaoke singers. And uh, this was one night in... Oh, somewhere in Tokyo, we had gone to Killer Khan's restaurant, and afterwards we went out and did some singing. And I can't play the audio here because YouTube will say, oh, you don't own the rights to that. So, um, so I just wanted to spend a minute to say that Wally was uh, just a classic guy. He was a character. He had Japanese schmaltz if you want to call it. He was a real personality and he was a good friend. He came uh, to the offices of when I worked at Pro Wrestling Illustrated uh, many, many times. He, uh, he came to my house many, many times when my kids were little. When my kids were little, I told them that I could speak Japanese and I couldn't. My daughter was about seven or eight years old and uh, Wally was coming over to the house and I said, my daughter's bringing a whole bunch of people over to hear me talk Japanese to you. So uh, he said, oh, don't worry about it. So my daughter has eight or nine kids there, and my daughter said, speak Japanese, Dad. So I just made it up. I go, say, and Wally would go, and Wally would talk real Japanese, and we'd converse, and all my daughter's friends, little kids, thought, yeah, I know, I shouldn't have done that. But I did tell her eventually that it was just, uh, it was just for fun. But anyway, I, I want to uh, reach out and just let everyone know that uh, I miss my uh, singing buddy and my good friend Yali, Wally Yamaguchi. He, he also, beside uh, doing the wrestling magazines, he, um, he wrote several uh, books. Um, he was uh, on TV. Let, let me just fast forward this a little bit. He was on TV quite a bit in Japan. Oops, hit the wrong button. Yeah, it's still a VCR. Um, so my buddy Wally Yamaguchi, I will miss you, and his brother Shun, I said, are you going to still be on uh, Fast Lane tonight? And he said that he is, and the reason that he is is because his brother Wally would never have forgiven him if he missed a booking on a pay-per-view, and I totally get that. My buddy, let me pick up the camera here, my buddy Wally Yamaguchi, um, he... He's gone uh, from uh, uh, from life here, but uh, his memory will always linger on. Boy, what a rotten camera person shot this! But sayonara, Wally-san.
And if you knew Wally, send some words in and let me know uh, your Wally stories.